Hello, summoners. My name is Trick of the Tesser, and welcome to my Pantheon ah. Champion Breakdown. Yes, a baker. Pantheon is a scary attack damage caster that is known for being a big ol' lane bully or a brutal jungler intent on securing early kills. Once he hits 6, every enemy on the map will need to be cautious as he could man drop just about anywhere he wants. He's a force to be reckoned with early and mid game, but as time wears on, he gets elderly fast and isn't quite the threat he used to be. Mantheon has a nice last hitting animation, but very low base and scaling attack damage. This isn't ever really an issue as Pantheon will always be building attack damage. Pantheon has some pretty pitiful wave clear as his only skill outside of his man drop that does any area of effect damage is his Heartseeker Strike. Due to this, he has a hard time pushing back huge minion waves, especially early on when most of his points are invested in his spear shot. Pantheon has access to a little bit of crowd control, but they both only last for one second before tenacity bonuses are factored in. His man drop only has a 35% movement speed slow, and his Aegis of Zioni is a single target gap closer stun. At the very least, has a small amount of hard crowd control so he can stop channels and the like. Mobility is a finicky issue with Pantheon. He has a high space movement speed in the game. But outside of his flash, he doesn't have any built-in quick escape tools. His man drop is a 2 second channeling time and could be used to get away, but it's easily interrupted. On the other hand, he can drop in just about any lane thanks to his long range, making his only mobility tool notably more offensive than defensive. Pantheon's entire kit only has one defensive ability tied to it, and that's Aegis Protection. It blocks auto attacks, but nothing else. It can make him a very scary tower diver since it will block tower shots and can be quickly refreshed if he stuns with his gap closer. After you break through his shield, you'll notice the delicate tender baker underneath. Pantheon has no built-in sustain. Nada. Zip. Nothing at all. He needs to buy potions or lifesteal to keep himself in lane for extended amounts of time. This is probably his biggest issue early on as he tries to establish lane dominance. While he certainly isn't a supporty champion, he can still help his team out by man dropping in and turning ill-fated ganks around. He also has a stun which can be a little helpful as well. The hardest part about playing Pantheon is timing his man drop. Let me be the first to tell you that it can be hard to land correctly as it is 3.5 second delay before he actually arrives. This gives enemies a lot of time to move around before he gets there. If you can pull off a perfectly timed Pantheon drop, that's all there is to Pantheon baby. The poor Spartan, however, doesn't have any sustain so he'll have to build it. If he wants to keep hurting, he needs to build a large amount of damage and there isn't much room to build defense. He has a low amount of CC and his mana problems are one of the greatest issues you'll face early on. If you can look past his flaws, you'll find a terrifying attack damage caster underneath. Pantheon's known for his impressive early game and the fact that he can easily shut out many auto attack based champions. He can man drop from a massive distance, making his ganking potential huge. He can even rapidly block two tower hits when he dives you, if he times it correctly. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If this video helped you out at all, or you enjoyed it, feel free to like, comment, or subscribe. If you guys wouldn't mind sharing this with some other players, I feel like it would help out a lot, especially the newer guys. The screen holds some more information on Pantheon, and a link to the top right will take you to a video I made about how I personally build him. You can also follow me on Twitch if you want to watch my stream. A link is in the box below. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Yes, a baker.